So we have another platform style fighting game coming out in the near future. Actually, by near future, I mean 2022, but that's around the corner. I don't know exactly when. I just know it's 2022. We have WB Multiverses, which is actually a really, really dope name because multiverse, but it's multiverses. It's kind of dope. And this is like a response to Nickelodeon All-Stars. I don't know if this is necessarily a response or they were already in development of it, but if you guys remember, Nickelodeon All-Stars came out recently and man, did that game die fast. <laughs> it was fun for what it was. It's got its own issues. And I feel like if you take Nickelodeon All-Stars and actually uh, improve on it and add the things that the game needed at launch then uh, it'll be a game that will come back to life very easily and last a lot longer now what's special about the wb multiverses is they're doing everything that nickelodeon also didn't do and on top of that the cast in the game is kind of crazy so you got like shaggy in the game you got batman in the game you got bugs Bunny throwing hands with superman this game sounds, sounds like it's going to be fun I have not seen anything about it yet. I know uh, that it was coming out. I, I heard the leaks happened around the time that Nickelodeon All-Stars came out. And I've seen a couple images here and there. And I think I've seen so what of a roster they've been teasing and stuff like that. But we have actual gameplay. So without further ado, I'm hitting play. And let's see what we got. Hopefully, this is this is uh, actually going to be more fun and longer lasting. But like I said, it's doing what Nickelodeon All-Star didn't have. I'm excited for this. There it is. Oh, it's free to play. Time out. That's dope. Cause I saw Jake. We got Finn, Bugs Bunny. This is dope. Oh, well, let me pause real fast. Pause, 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 pause. There we go. So we got Shaggy. We got. I'm trying to recognize. We got Harley Quinn. We got Jake. We got Finn. So Jake and Finn are separate characters. We got Batman, Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry? Are you kidding me? Comment section below. Based off of this roster, who would you want to play the most and why? And then of course we got Wonder Woman. This is dope. All right, I'm hitting play again. So is it 2v2? Is it always a team fighter? Cooperative, deep combat mechanics across multiple platforms. I'm not the biggest fan of like team fighting in games like this. It's fun, but I hope you can do 1v1s. See the voices, they got voices, which is already a big win. Okay. Oh, me and Dad are about to, me and Dad are gonna make some videos on this. We definitely gotta make a video of, of us playing as Jake and Finn, number one. And definitely Shaggy as well. So, is it only teamwork? I don't know if I would like that. Okay, okay, okay. That's all, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Is that Arya Stark? Are you kidding me? All right. First of all, Batman looks top tier already. I I was very neutral when I woke up this morning, but after seeing this, this is dope. Okay. I also got main Tom and Jerry. No, 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 no. Dion has to main Tom and Jerry, hands down. I love that they got all the voices. That's so cool. Pause, 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 pause. Unpause. Pause. Did it just make Ultra Instinct Shaggy ca Cannon? Unpause. Each fighter in multiverses is unique and will have a range of customizations available for all of them. And that's just the tip of the ice. They can't give me a cannon! Ultra Instinct Shaggy is cannon! Multiverses supports Are you kidding me? So you can focus on what's important. Who you'll play with. And crossplay. You see, this is what I mean. And they got crossplay as well. That also means guilds and more social features. Get ready to challenge other guilds with yours. And see who's really ready for a fight. Now, see, if Nickelodeon All-Stars had this from the start, it would have gone so much further. And they got costumes? What about lag affecting your inputs? Us too. Multiverse's goal is best in class online. We're investing I heard that they got rollback netcode too. Responsive gameplay and netcode. In addition to dedicated service it looks a little bit slow. I can't tell if this is just how the early gameplay looks, but it feels a bit slower. There's something I like about Nickelodeon All-Stars that it was a lot faster. So I hope that it, it plays faster. But it being free is top-notch. This is what Nickelodeon should have done too. Drop the game for free. And then just make your money off of skins and stuff like that. Look into multiverses. We've got more Bro. characters and features to reveal. 
Sign up at multiverses.com for a chance to participate. Okay, you, you sold me. We want to hear you. you sold me. Ultra Instinct Shaggy is canon! Bro. Coming 2022. I hope it's a lot sooner than later. Because I assume the game's probably like somewhat close to being done at this point. Uh, so it's just a matter of just getting to the point where they can drop it. But that's so cool to me. Yo, comment section below. First and foremost, out of anybody in the WB universe, who would you want to see and why? Obviously, you got everybody from the DC universe. You can toss in there as well. But like, I feel like for me, I want all the zany characters because you know WB has a lot of cartoons up their sleeves. You know, for like Tom and Jerry and stuff like that. I I want to see how far this game goes. But it being free, number one, uh, and I guess the main focus being gameplay. So as he mentioned, that they're going to focus on netcode and stuff like that is massive. So free game. That has customiz customizable skins, which is how they're gonna make the money. Obviously, they gotta make the money. It is the business end of the day. And then uh, everything else. This is this is how you should release a game like Nickelodeon All Stars. Like they should have done it from the start. Yo, All Stars. The game's not dead yet. You know, All well, well it's very. <laughs> it's not as interesting anymore. Let me just, let me just say that because no game is truly dead. But uh, I'm not interested to play All Stars right now. If my friends were to ask me, I'd be down, but I feel like all my friends are in the same boat. I don't know really wants to like boot the game up. When they start dropping DLC and All Stars, I'm sure it's gonna you know, come back to life real soon. But what All Stars needs is they need more stuff that makes the game feel alive. You know, the gameplay is fun with All Stars, but they're missing, you know, stuff like um, good music. They need they need voices. They could use skins. Obviously, more characters would be nice as well. Because the thing that, that killed All Stars for me is is uh, I only wanted to play like two characters, and there really wasn't that much to choose from to begin with. But I also know it's like a, not a big studio. I feel like the difference between uh, Warner's game and the All Star game is the fact that they have a way bigger budget, as you can see. I mean, if you could just drop a game for free and take that hit, and assume you're gonna make all your money off of skins, that's uh that's an advantage right there. But this looks hype. And let's not forget, Ultra Instinct Shaggy is canon. I, for as long as I existed, I hated that joke. It was funny in the beginning, but it's one of those jokes where like the internet just took it and just ran with it so much that I'm just like, I'm tired of hearing this. But now I feel like it's 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 funnier because we have an actual game to go along with it. Yo, now we're, we're playing Shaggy day one. Comment section below if you're interested in um, WWE Multiverses, which again, I love the name again. Let me know which character you're most excited to play as and what character you want to see from the WWE Universe let me know in the comment section below. And hit that thumbs up if you want to see actual videos on this as well at some point. I mean, it's 2v2s. I wish they would do 3v3s as well. But in general, usually these games are like 2v2s or just four-player fights anyways. But, you know, the idiots definitely have to do something with this. You know, me, Dotto, Dion, got to get together. We got to get our dumb assery on the same page and make some content out of this. At least for the first week. I don't know how far the game's going to actually go. But so far, everything they're doing with it is like it's structured well to the point where it is potentially going to succeed in the long run. And I want to see... A game like this grow so yeah with that said let me know your thoughts down below again uh i need everybody <laughs> one last thing i need everybody to comment i can't believe the ultra instinct shaggy is officially canon all over the comments of this video because this is just funny to me anyways thank you guys for watching and i guess i'll see you guys comment section below because we have a lot to talk about uh if you want to tweet me at rhyme style uh let me know over there as well if you have any opinions on it thank you guys for watching i'll see you down below peace